Hey guys, so we are now in Barcelona here for two days and we're gonna explore as much as we can starting with a hop on hop off tour that we purchased right through Expedia, only 26 euro each. So let's see if this experience is better than the one over in Paris. I couldn't make up my mind between Duncan and natural fruit juices from the market, so I took both. <laughs> So far, it's um, much better than in Paris, right? We actually have no top, so we can definitely see much better. All right, so as you're walking in, they hand you the headphones and you get the free map. Let's just see if it shows the whole Barcelona. So there are different routes you can take and you just go by the number, or I'm sorry, the color. So we chose the green route because that's the Familia Sagrada route. But yeah, it looks like, I can't open it all the way, but yeah, it definitely looks like it'll show you where all the stops are. And it is um, free commentary also. You just use the barcode. We just don't want to use up our battery life to use it, but it looks like there's some discounts in the back. Be sure to watch our next video. We're going to explore that basilica right there. So I would recommend that you do what we did. And so we stayed on the tour um, on the bus from uh, stops one where we started and we stayed all the way up until nine. And then on stop 10, we got off. And the reason we got off is because we are going to Mirador Torre Glories. <laughs> so it's a huge, I'm, I'm talking a huge, tall building, beautiful. The And I'll show you the clip of where we are right now. And we're going all the way to the top. So for 18 euro each, you can take the elevator straight to the top and there's an amazing viewpoint of Barcelona. Um, Hens Miradon. So Carlos is paying now. And we're gonna head up. Hola. That's security to go through. So you're not paying the 18 year old just for the viewpoint, you're also getting a museum experience. Look at this, beautiful. Way up, Carlo. So a 
up here you go through each window and see a bit of a different view from each window you get from ocean to city to mountain view definitely worth a stop And then you go all the way, all the way around the building. So you can pay 12 euro extra and it's called walk among the cloud. And just like they're walking through these structures. That's pretty cool. We're gonna pass though. But yeah, that's pretty cool. If you've got kids, you've gotta do it. All right, so we just left the Mirador, which is right there. And if you just walk across the street here, there's a huge mall. And now it's kind of cold and Carlos, his sweater um, was dirty. So we're just gonna go inside this mall. I don't know if it's an open air mall or not, but we're gonna see what we can find. Maybe some souvenirs. We're gonna have some lunch at McDonald's, which is straight down there. And then we'll be able to get back on the bus and go to the next few stops yep so it looks like it's an open air mall so you just walk out to each store from the outside but there's also an indoors down here Oh god. <laughs> decisions, decisions for what? Do we choose Burger King or do we choose McDonald's? <laughs> if that's the hardest decision that we ever have to make, I'm I'm fine with that. <laughs> and the winner is always McDonald's. So something unique to Spain is for the sides they have gazpacho, which is a cold soup. Another cool thing is the wings. So they've got the 10 wings and 10 nuggets, but then the nuggets and wings, uh, chicken McBites. What I chose, well, this is different to the wedge fries with cheese, but I chose sour cream McShaker fries. That looks different. So I'm doing that and let's try the McNuggets. Uh, make bites and look you can buy beer All right. so you put the fries in here and it's got some sour cream stop is the main attraction for Carlos, which is stop 11, just the next stop over from where we just got off. So it was about an eight minute ride or so. Guys, this is amazing. All right, so I messed up big time. I didn't purchase um, these tickets, I completely forgot. And now trying to buy it on the day of when we're about to go in, you can only purchase it online, but they have no more availability. It is what it is. I can't get everything perfect. So yeah, so what we're gonna do is just walk around like a full 360 and just try to capture every detail and just spend some time looking at this magnificent, amazing structure.
So this stop really is just La Sagrada Familia. There's like a passage walkway and the park that you can kind of hang out at, um, but it's not really on our list. So we're gonna head back and we spend about 20 minutes just looking around the whole uh, 360 view of the Basilica trying to capture every detail and then from there we're gonna go um, head back to the stop but before we go to the stop there is a whole row of restaurants here to the right and they do have some sandwiches that I've been wanting to try it's only 110 euro and I'll show it to you now Alright, so <laughs> wait till you see this. Grab the bag real quick. This is the menu. <laughs> Look how little it is. One euro. I thought it was bigger than that. It'll do. I just had McDonald's anyways. <laughs> We just got off uh, stop 13 which is Park Well. Unfortunately it's still like a 10 to 12 minute walk from where the bus leaves you and it's a bit of a little bit of a steep hill which I'm really confused why the hop on hop off wouldn't leave us closer but I'm okay with that. I'm sure there's probably things to see along the way. So unfortunately another fail. We just ended up going right back to the bus and not being able to get inside park well so if you are gonna visit make sure that you are purchasing all of these tickets ahead of time i made yet another mistake of thinking i can buy on site thinking that this is off season and it may not be as busy well i was wrong so we ended up staying on the bus for the remainder of the tour and just got off at the beginning uh, where we started. And yeah, this is definitely worth your time if you are in Barcelona. So after the tour, we just ended up going back to the hotel and I do show you a quick uh, preview of what I got the kids for a snack. But right here is the alleyway of uh, right off of the balcony. So I wanted to share how cute that was. So we've got a little snack hall. Everything is for the kids except the drinks. And obviously that's for me. But we got Ruffles ham flavor. Then we've got the boys, the Oreo and the strawberry cheesecake, which they haven't stopped this whole trip to make sure we get them the Milka ones. They love these things. They're really good. So that's for the boys. And then I got the girls each a smaller one. And then I've got these for them to share. And some of these. And I've got the Milka wafer cookies. The Pelotazos Cheetos, which is amazing. And then what else? That's it. They'll be happy with that. Maybe we'll get them a few other things. But that's pretty much their snack haul. Uh, their snacks for from the trip. <laughs> 